Beautiful Wednesday morning, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotions. And if you can hear, uh, the birds are chirping, the birds are singing. And it's just neat that I have this privilege of having like trees outside. May mga puno ako sa labas para mapaingan ko ang pagbati ng mga ibon. And so as we um, go back to our devotional, We'll be hearing from <clears throat> Exodus chapter 3, verse 2. And this is how it reads, Behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. So this is talking about yung scene wherein Moses saw the burning bush, yung nag-aapoy, nag nagniningas, pero hindi natutupok na puno. And the title of today's devotion is The Mystery in Worship. And this is how it reads. Consider the experience of Moses in the desert as he beheld the fire that burned in the bush without consuming it. So, sabing ganun ito, sir, imagine natin, right? Let's consider, ano kaya naramdaman ni Moses? I mean, that is extraordinary, that's supernatural. Isang punong uh, nag-aapoy pero hindi uh, natutupok. Right? Kitang kita natin. You can see the flames, but but you can't see any burnt part of the tree. And so that that is is indeed um, remarkable. Kasi kung nakita natin isang punong umaapoy pero natutupok, like if we see uh, a, a tree burning, but yeah, and, pero it, it's being consumed, and we would say, oh, it's just normal. So, sabi ni Tozer, consider that. Imagine that. Uh, ano kaya naramdaman niya? Moses had no hesitation in kneeling before the bush and worshiping God. Why? Because he knows that's supernatural. He knows it's uh, not normal to be seeing a burning bush without being consumed. Moses was not worshiping a bush. It was God and His glory dwelling in the bush whom Moses worshipped. Maganda sinabi ni Tozer, Hindi uh, um, sinamba ni Moses yung puno, but he was rather kneeling down and bowing down kasi alam niya, this is not um, natural, this is divine. This is an imperfect illustration, sabi ni Tozer. For when the fire department from that bush, this is an imperfect illustration for when the fire departed from that bush, it was bush again. Right? But this man, Christ Jesus, is eternally the Son. So what, what Tozer is doing now is comparing the, the glory of God shown in that supernatural event. Pero sabi ni Tozer, after the fire uh, was gone, it's still a bush. But now he's mentioning Christ. But this man, Christ Jesus, is eternally the Son. Again, let me just point out. Um, by referring to Jesus Christ as man, it's not saying at all that he is just man, right? Because when we look at scripture, uh, Paul is saying there's no one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. He was highlighting and emphasizing his humanity. But to be a mediator between two parties, you need to have a common denominator with uh, uh, dun sa two parties na yon. So, by referring to Jesus as man, he, um, that doesn't mean that he is not God. He is the infinite God-man. So, but this man, Christ Jesus, is eternally the Son. Can one man be eternal? No. Is eternally the Son. In the fullness of this mystery, there has never been any departure except for that awful moment when Jesus cried, My God, my God, why? Have you forsaken me? And that's beautiful. Sabi ni Tozer, uh, unlike the, the burning bush, when the, the glory of God departed from that bush, it remained the bush. But this Christ, this man, who is eternally the Son, there's no departure of God's glory except for that one event wherein he cried, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Because during that time, the sins of those who would believe in him was on Jesus' shoulders and he was receiving the holy anger, the holy wrath of God. 
the father turned his back for a moment for a moment important yun, for a moment when when the son took on himself the that pure putrefying mass of sin and guilt dying on the cross not for his own sins but for ours for those who would believe in him the deity and humanity never parted and to this day they remain united in that one man our lord and savior jesus christ when we kneel before him and say my lord and my god thy throne O god is forever and ever we are talking to god right and that is just so beautiful right um we worship him and we love him because of his grace his sovereign grace and and the langin kupo that we would not exchange jesus for another right not for anything not for anyone not for a fad na uso lang sa panahon ngayon na some say that these things like the the fads the the latest uh, uh developments or perhaps um things or programs sa christian scene oh it has led me closer to jesus no maybe for a time but the jesus found in scripture hindi pwedeng magdepart sa kanya ang kanyang luwalhati and so therefore it would do us well to continue on worshiping him continue on serving him continue on knowing more about him through the pages of scripture not through anything else but through the pages of scripture right let me read to you Tozer's prayer for us. Lord, I may not have seen you in a burning bush like Moses did, but I still kneel before you and worship you as my king. Again, this coincides with our lessons, Exodus. Remember, later on, we would have an in-person midweek uh, study. I hope you could join us if you can. And uh, um, the last time that we were discussing Exodus, we saw... Moses, being mentioned here by Tozer, saw all the wonderful glories of God, but asked for more of Jesus, more of God, right? So I pray that um, we would not be complacent, we would not be too comfortable where, where, where we're at, with what we're at. Where we're at. Kunyari, 10 years ka ng Christian, 20 years ka ng Christian, I pray that we would desire to know more of Him so that we could kneel before Him and worship Him and ascribe glory to Him because He is worthy of it. I pray that we would continue on longing and pursuing Christ, knowing more about Him and reading His Word and living them out. Right? Um, dito po, truth is directly linked to our worship. Ano sabi ni Cristo? Worship Him in spirit and in truth, right? Our worship should be uh, from our the bottom of our hearts, from from our whole being, with with uh, uh, enthusiasm and, and heartfelt and sincerity. But it should be driven. It should be informed by the truth. And what is the truth? Sabi ni Cristo, sanctify them by, them by your truth. Your word is truth. Right? Sige, pray tayo. Let's, let's pray and thank the Lord for this beautiful day. Right? Lord, we thank you for um, another morning. And I praise you, Lord, for uh, the birds chirping and the, the beauty of this wonderful new day. Knowing, Lord, that this entails new mercies. Not that... You ran out of it. Hindi dahil naubusan kayo, Lord. It's because that's who you are. You lavish your grace upon your people. Upon your creation, most especially, Lord, upon your people. And so, Lord, as we uh, were made to ponder upon worship uh, sa devotion ngayon, we pray that we would indeed give you the sincerest and highest praise. May we give you, Lord, worship. And Lord, may that worship come from an informed heart, reading your word, so that we would see and uh, um, 
be reminded, Lord, of the many excellencies of Christ that we would, we would be grateful because true worship comes from a grateful heart. Dalangin ko po ang inyong pagkapala ngayong araw nito sa amin and we pray that you would uh, by your grace uh, drive us and lead us, guide us, Lord, to live for you. Kahit ano mangyari, ever regardless of the situation. Most especially, Lord, in difficult situations. We love you, Lord. We uh, pray that um, you would bring us back tomorrow as we ponder again great truths from your word. This is our prayer with much thanksgiving in Christ's most precious name. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Ingat po kayo.